that block. At least there's that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's try this. Because we need it. Like, right there. And then... Power... Is it on? Fuck, it ain't supposed to be on! What the hell? I don't get this shit. I didn't put it to it. It's still gonna... I'm doing it wrong. I'm so doing it wrong. What the hell happened to my torch? Oh, I got it. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, guys. I am doing something seriously wrong here. And I'm offloading. Great. I gotta look at something, though, because something is wrong. Seriously. I'm gonna have to look it up. Because I don't remember what I'm doing wrong. So, we'll be back in just a moment. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. A little checking. I think I know what I'm doing wrong. So, we're gonna give this another go. What do here. Set up our red torch this way. We're gonna need a little redstone on top. I do believe. Not sure if this is gonna work. Might have to maybe get over one. And we'll set that up. Okay. And then on top of this block, we're gonna throw our other redstone torch. And there you go. There's the proper repeater. As you can see, this is giving power to this block, which turns that torch off. Because every time a torch, a redstone torch, gets power, it turns it turns off because it generates power. It can be a little confusing to understand, but that's how it works. And by doing that method, we have a nice little compact repeater. The part I was missing is you have to put this on top. I'm gonna put that in there, otherwise it's a little more complicated. Well, not really, but it just takes extra space. So, all that, and that's all I was missing. I gotta do something real fast. Be back in just a sec. All right, sorry about that. So now we have our proper repeater. We have it all set up. All we have to do now is get it up to where we want our button to be. Since we actually have this set up now, this should be actually pretty easy. We have a nice little booter, so now we have another 15 spaces to use. Quite simple. Use this edging technique. I don't care if I expose that. It's alright. That's gonna be moved. That's like right there. That's good. Just kind of moving the wiring this way. Hopefully that that should not be blocking the cart, I hope. Survey so says no. It's not blocking the cart. Excellent. That's important. Okay. So, let's continue our wiring. I'm just gonna bring this over to here-ish. Another little turn here, and then goes behind this wall. I kind of want the switch like right here. To me, that just makes so much sense. So I'm gonna clear this out a little. See where it's at. There we go. Let me just bring the wiring. Well, we're gonna do that. Looks like we're gonna have to go up a space like right here, which means this has gotta go. Otherwise, it'll be blocking it. There. Another 
get locked there. So there it is. That's where it's gonna be. Our switch will go right here. Where's my switch? Where'd I put it? I have a switch. There it is. Make a switch easy. Take two smooth stone. I think you've seen me do it, but I'll do it again, just in case you missed it. Take two smooth stone, split it up. Two parts, doesn't matter where. Just two parts, make a button. Real simple. Easy peasy. There's a lot of spiders out there. Ah, oh, did I leave it? Oy. Lose my head. Let's put the smooth stone back in here. Dum dum. So we're gonna put that right there. And we can just seal it off. So there's our button. And that will be our call button. Here, as soon as I hit that, whoa, it didn't work. That's odd. Something might be blocked. That's interesting. It is not working. Why? Guys, that should have worked. But no, it will not turn it off. Maybe because it already has power? No, shouldn't matter. It should just turn it off. Hmm. Maybe because it is does have power. Interesting. I'm a little confuzzled. Power the block below it. Confusing. Weird. Still not working. Ugh. Typical. Gotta screw with it until we can get it to work. That didn't go the way we wanted at all. Funny thing. How odd. Apparently it doesn't turn it off. Interesting. I thought it would. Well, that is a problem. Tuh. A big one. Because it makes our repeater useless. Unless we have an inverter. And, uh... That isn't gonna work. Shit, guys. <laughs> See? Just when you think you figure it out.
Maybe behind it. That's possible. That would be more convenient. But then. Rock bastard. Gotta do, man. This work, damn you. Just work. Okay, that's given power. Not coming to here, though, because the way it's set up. I'm sorry guys, you know, but it said it's going to be easy. Why isn't that powering it? for me and you. Output power is always the same level as the torch. The redstone torch. Input power is always a lower level. Lower. So, same level torch or higher. Power out. Lower level in. That's what we're doing wrong. This should... Pause it and we'll be back 